ML Sports Take brought to you by our good friends at Burn Dairy. Make sure you gas up your vehicle at Burn Dairy. Grab the donuts, chocolate milk, and coffee on your way into work. And oh, by the way, they've got delicious hot and cold food like pizza, salads, wraps, and a heck of a lot more at Burn Dairy. It's all good. Everything is fresh. Burn Dairy, select locations in and around central New York. Yankees and Red Sox will play three games in the Bronx to conclude the first half of the Major League Baseball regular season. And the Red Sox, after winning the last two games, Games uh, against New York in a series I thought at Fenway last week. I thought the Yankees were going to win at least three, maybe four, but they coughed up lead after lead after lead in games three and four and lost. It almost felt like even though the series was a split, that the Red Sox won the series. Now we fast forward to today. The Red Sox have gotten pounded by the Tampa Bay Rays, 10-5, 3-2, 4-1, and the Yankees have lost 2-3 or three to the Reds. So these two teams are both stumbling into the All-Star break, and I think it would be imperative for the Yankees to win this series 2 out of 3. It could be imperative for the Red Sox to win 2 out of 3. If you look at the regular season uh, standings right now in the AL East, the Yankees still have a very comfortable lead, but they don't really strike fear into opponents, do they? I mean, especially this past week with the, those losses, you're looking at the Severino injury. Uh, you're looking at the bullpen starting to get wounded. They're not getting deep starting pitching. Cortez was great last night, but he's shown some weaknesses. Montgomery has been had. Tyone is pitching shorter, and that means that guys are just getting overused in the bullpen, and we're starting to see guys being used, you know, night after night. Abreu and King and Holmes and all these guys, they've been used repeatedly. Loisigal was awful last night. Licky was terrible. So the Yankees really are, are you know, again, they've had a great season so far. They're 35 games over 500. They have a plus 176 run differential. They're 35 and 11 at home. Um, they've had a great, great year. There's no question about it, but they've lost four. Uh, they've gone four and six in their last 10. They've lost two or three to the Reds. They lost those two games at the end of the series against Boston. They still have a 13 game lead, but they got to kind of get some of that mojo back in the second half. And it's going to be hard. You come out, you play the improved Orioles, you play the Mets, you play a double dip with the Astros. This is a very, very tough schedule right out of the gate. And it's a tough one to end it here with a rival in the Boston Red Sox. The Yankees need to win two or three. It'd be really neat if you're a Yankee fan, of course, if they swept. They lead the division by 13, Boston by 15 and a half. They lead by Toronto 15 and a half. And oh, by the way, those Baltimore Orioles are 45 and 44, uh, 17 games back, but eyeing a possible playoff spot. And as the wild card standings look right now, uh, Baltimore is only a game and a half uh, out of a playoff spot. Um, right now, you've got Tampa, Seattle, Boston, and Toronto as a wild card team. So set, uh, definitely something to pay attention to there. And uh, I've said it a million times, the Yankees can win on the road in Houston. Houston can win on the road in New York. But if I'm a Yankee fan, which I am, I'm looking at this one way. Go get the top seed. That is the goal of the second half of the New York Yankees. Get the top seed in the AL, and you have home field advantage throughout. You get that by and all the rest, and then you go try to win a championship. ML Sports Take here brought to you by our great friends at Burn Dairy. Again, pizza, wraps, salads, hot and cold food for your lunch and for your dinner, breakfast sandwiches as well. I tell you what, the donuts are unbelievable, the chocolate milk and the coffee. Grab all that on your way into work, and it's important to gas up your vehicle at Burn Dairy as well. Check out Burn Dairy. It's all good. Mike Lindsley with you here. It's an ML Sports Take. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit me on Twitter at Mike L Sports. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.